Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Stoneblock 2 with another 5 minutes. That's how I did it. If you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the quest book in Stoneblock 2. Uh, today's quest is a little bit more complicated than some of the previous ones. Uh, it is getting hot in here, make a crucible. Now, uh, this is a, a very, very important step in uh, Stoneblock 2, uh, just like it's an important step in uh, Sky Factory 3. But uh, last episode, we made ourselves some oak crucibles and we used uh, some saplings, although you can use other sort of organic matter like leaves and that. In that crucible, to make ourselves some water. Now that was a very long and uh, tiresome process. So we took that first uh, block of clay that we made and we uh, made ourselves a, a clay bucket, uh, fired it in our furnaces, which are just on the other side of the wall over there. And now we can actually use it to move water around. So I can take water out, I can put water back in. Uh, so I took the extra water I had in here and I made myself a little bit of an infinite water source uh, just to kind of speed things along a little bit. So now what we're we're going to have to do to make that uh, crucible is to make ourselves some porcelain. To make ourselves some porcelain, we're going to need to make ourselves some more clay. So with the extra dust I had from last episode, we're going to place it into the wooden crucible uh, with water and that is giving us some clay. So right click, that takes the block of clay out. Now I'm going to need a little bit more uh, than just uh, that one block of clay. So we're going to go, we're going to take some water out, we're going to place it in here and this is way, way quicker than using the uh, saplings uh, to kind of, I don't even know what the process is called, but to make water uh, that away. So we're going to take this dust, we're going to place it into these crucibles, and then we're going to pull it back out. And now we've got ourselves four blocks of clay. Uh, just like before, we are going to uh, vein mine this time and get ourselves a number of uh clay balls I guess it's just called it's just called clay in stone block too but uh, that is not a problem but to turn this uh, clay into porcelain is going to require a little bit more work for one we're going to need our to get ourselves some bone meal so again using dust in a uh, sieve uh, now any in a regular sieve any mesh will get you a chance to drop a uh, bone meal uh, in a heavy uh, sieve it's actually only flint and above so I could sit here all day and you know kind of sift away trying to get some bone meal but that is actually going to be a really really long process uh, what I want to do I want to speed this up by using the heavy sieve. So now because it won't use a, a string mesh, I'm going to right shift right click on that uh, heavy sieve to take out that mesh. And we're going to make ourselves a flint uh, a mesh, which is probably the, you know, the highest level, level mesh we can make at this moment. So uh, one string mesh in the crafting table with six pieces of flint gets us a flint stiffened mesh. So we're going to take that, we're going to go place that into our uh, heavy oak sieve. Uh, now one other thing is we're going to need some um, compressed blocks of dust. So I've already pre-made up uh, some blocks right here. We're going to come over here and we're going to really, really quickly go through this and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we're going to get ourselves some porcelain. So actually, let's just check. Oh no, we're going to get ourselves some bone meal and we have. So there's two pieces right there, three pieces. We're going to need, I believe, a minimum of seven pieces uh, to make this work right. So there is six. One more is going to be absolutely perfect. What are the chances? There we go. We got eight right now. And you know, I'm just going to leave that there for the moment. I'll clean that up later. Uh, to make the porcelain, we're going to have to take the clay balls into the crafting table and then we're going to have to add a piece of bone meal. Now uh, for every piece of clay and every piece of bone meal you get one piece of porcelain. So we're going to go and grab seven pieces of porcelain which is all that we need. I'm going to take those out and using the porcelain clay we are going to uh, make it into a U shape in a regular crafting table and that gets us an unfired crucible. So now we're going to take that unfired crucible we're going to go over to our furnaces and we're just going to go and throw that in there and that is going to fire that up and once that is done we'll have a uh i guess a functional furnace uh, in that we can actually use it to uh, fire materials uh, in it so uh we have now gotten that quest quest complete getting hot in here so let's open up our quest book 
we've clicked on it already. So the random reward is a Nether Star Crux. I think I've actually already got one of those anyways. But uh, to make this Crucible function, um, you know, just really, really quickly at the end of this episode, you're going to need a uh, source of heat. Now, early on in the game, your best source of heat is just going to be a torch. And then we're going to place that there. And now we can add uh, things in there like uh, cobblestone or whatnot, and it will melt it down uh, into lava, which is what we're going to need to proceed on a lot of these other um, items. And you know what? I just realized I don't have any uh, cobblestone on me. Let's really, really quickly go and grab a little bit and we're just going to run and we're going to go one, two, three, four. And you can see now it is a slowly working that cobblestone into lava. This is a very slow process. Uh, other items that you can use to heat this up would be uh, lit nether rack, uh, lava, and uh, I believe there's one other thing off the top of my head uh, that and each sort of upgrade will make this uh, kind of, you know, burn quite a bit quicker but uh that's gonna be it for this one guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please think about leaving a like and a subscribe uh, you can follow me on twitter at jackal wolf uh, also check out my discord page uh, there is a link below in the description uh, i also stream stone block 2 on uh you know saturday nights at uh eight o'clock ish uh, mountain standard time at least that's what i'm doing right now so uh, if you got a chance stop on by and say hi i would uh, love to chat with you guys and uh well, that's going to be it. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.